Wan 2.2 tutorial and review how to use Alibaba Wan 2.2. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into an exciting new AI video tool from Alibaba, Wan 2.2. This is a powerful open source AI video generator that uses advanced technology to transform your text and images into cinematic quality videos. Not only does it create quality videos, but it does it very quickly and very easily as well. Whether you're a content creator, marketer, or AI enthusiast, WAN 2.2 can help you bring your ideas to life with motion, storytelling, and vibrant visuals. So we're going to be walking through everything that WAN has to offer, how you can get started, and a step-by-step -step guide. So now, let's jump right in. First off, let's talk about WAN 2.2 and what exactly it is and why it's grabbing the attention from all the other AI tools. Well, this is the latest iteration of Alibaba's advanced video generator developed by their Damo Academy, a team focused on disruptive AI research. The model is open source and was released in early 2025, targeting both research and commercial use. And unlike traditional video editing tools, WAN 2.2 can generate fully animated video clips with just prompts or single images, or even both combined, making it incredibly flexible. Notably, this version, which is this 2.2 version, improves substantially over their 2.1 version with higher maximum resolutions of up to 1080p right now, which means sharper and crisper videos, faster generation speeds due to optimized underlying algorithms, improved motion consistency, cinematic controls such as smooth dolly shots, slow pans, giving your videos a professional look. It uses a mixture of expert architecture which efficiently balances computation to enhance visual quality without demanding exponentially more hardware. Plus, it supports bilingual text rendering displaying English and Chinese subtitles or embedded text seamlessly. So, let's jump right in. To get started, simply head on over to one.video slash explore and then click on login. Then you can click on sign up over here and you can sign up by your email address. Or if you want, you can go back into login and log in by Google for a quick and easy Google sign up. So, we're going to be continuing on over here into one and then just click on continue now once we do that our account will be created and it's a very quick and easy setup then you can click on try now and you can get started with their membership plans credits or gift cards keep in mind that when you're using the free version it's going to be a bit limiting and if you're looking to use their most latest model and you proceed with one 2.2 you guys will see that you do need to check in to redeem your credits so you do need to check in to get your 10 credits and then you can proceed so let's say that i want to create a video of a woman walking in front of a castle and I'm not going to add any references, I'm going to convert this to text to video and we are going to be using 1 2.2. After that we're going to choose the aspect ratio and you can proceed with your settings. So if you want to generate with credits, if you want inspiration mode or if you want sound effects, then just like so I can proceed with my video. But if I am creating a video, I will need to upgrade to a premium plan and we will be discussing the general pricing at the end of this video but for now i'll show you guys some of their basic plans the pro and premium starting at five dollars and twenty dollars and you can choose to purchase credit separately as well so i'm just going to subscribe to their pro plan at 6.5 dollars every month just like so so right now we have completed our subscription and we can proceed with using our WAN 2.2. So to get started, you can get started with a little bit of organization by going into projects and click on new projects to segregate your project. This makes it easier for you to have everything be categorized and then find everything later on. Now once you do that, you can proceed with clicking on generate and then you guys will see you can proceed with adding the first frame or if you want to proceed directly with the text to video, you can select text to video. After that, you're going to describe the visuals and dynamics that you want to be using. Now, there are some key features that you need to keep in mind, which include cinematic quality, motion, how you want the camera angles to pan. So all of those things you do need to specify yourself. So make sure you're specifying that within your prompt. So a golden retriever puppy wearing a bright yellow raincoat plays in a sunlit park, so on and so forth. The more detailed you are, the better your overall video is going to be. So this is the prompt 
that I've entered, which includes the main object or subject of my video, as well as the clothing, the camera angle, as well as the movement, the joyful motion, shimmering lights on a wet grass. And then we're going to proceed with our aspect ratio. Then we can click on generate with credits, inspiration mode. Inspiration mode allows the one 2.2 model to enhance your overall prompt. And then you can add sound effects as well, which allows you to create suitable background music or background effects whenever sound is needed. And then we're just going to click on generate over here. And then just like so, it will show you an estimated timer and your task or your particular video is going to be queued on. Now, text to video is not the only way you can get started. You can choose to get started with an image. You also have the ability to go with effects. So you can create special effects from an, any type of an image. So you can add those effects. You can choose the first frame and the last frame. You can also get started with references and use a reference image if you want. And you can even repaint and in paint videos as well. So you have several different ways that you can utilize the new AI model that has been created by Alibaba. So just like so within our estimated time, our image has been, our video has been created and this is what the video looks like. Now, once your video has been created, you can proceed and you can click on the video and then you can proceed with editing. So you can go with in paint and select the targeted video, alter the pose, add more dynamic elements. Now, if you don't want to do, you know, video editing with this, we can confirm and go back and you can even rerun the same prompt. You can even reuse the prompt and alter the settings to make a different variation. And you can even send this to a project. On your top right, you have the ability to publish your video as well as download with a watermark. But if you do want to download without a watermark, you do need VIP access on WAN 2.2. Now, in general, this is a really amazing model because it is able to harmoniously capture all of the details that you're adding, including scene complexity, multi language text rendering, high resolution images, as well as advanced prompt understanding because it can safely involve multiple different objects, styles, and motions all in one space because it takes everything with a guest styles approach where it is incorporating elements together to form one larger video. So it truly is a really nice model. It has fast generation, high, high quality videos up to 1080p, but it does not have 4K. However, the default video length is limited to five seconds which may require looping or stitching for longer content and sometimes local setup can be technical and require some familiarity for people that are not familiar with AI frameworks and GPU drivers. So to wrap it up, this is an open source tool that is going to empower everyone to create cinematic videos. It has a great balance between speed, image, image quality, ease of use, and AI making credits as well as general usability. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video